Yo, what's going guys? This is Jamie back again with another video and today uh, there's been a bunch of uh, balance patches uh, being teased for the uh, next uh, for the uh, next change in Hearthstone uh, coming this Thursday. So uh, in two days there's going to be a big balance patch where there's going to be a bunch of uh, buffs and a couple of nerfs. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get right into it. As you can see right now, this is the standard uh, buffs and nerfs. So for the nerfs, we've got Tidepool, Pupil, and Doomkin. I 100% I agree. They need to be nuked into the ground, in my opinion. Uh, but to be fair, that's just me hating uh, Tidepool Pupil in uh, the Chalice Druid. And then also hating uh, Doomkin just in general. Because, like, you know, it is absolutely crazy. Uh, but anyways, uh, let's go over some of the buffs. Um, you've got Eudora for Rogue. You've got Maestra for uh, Rogue as well. So both of the Rogue legendaries are getting buffed. Uh, you got the uh, weapon uh, for uh, Rogue that gives you the coin whenever you kill a minion. I'm guessing they give it like a, an extra attack or an extra durability. Um, and then there's uh, Furious Fowls in Hunter. Uh, there's Mystery Egg in Hunter. There's, uh, what, what's that card? Okay, it looks like uh, the card next to Mystery Egg is Fetch, the spell for, uh, the two mana spell for Hunter uh, right now, where draw a minion, if it's a beast, draw a spell. Yeah, there, this one's uh, not really as good. Uh, you got Rye Cleaver getting a buff. Uh, let me see what this card is. Okay, Food Fight, uh, the card next to the Rye Cleaver is getting buffed as well. It looks like the, uh, the Boom Wrench is also getting a buff. Uh, the 4-mana 3-2 weapon uh, miniaturized for Warrior that triggers a Death Rattle. Um, I'm trying to figure out what uh, this card is. I thought it was like the one card in uh, Priest uh, this year. Uh, the, what's it called? The, I thought it was rest in peace, which it, it could be, but I don't know. I don't, I don't see the card arts matching, but anyways, uh, after that card, we've got, uh, Raylia, uh, not Raylia, Rayla, the sand sculptor, uh, here getting, uh, the legendary for, uh, mage getting a buff. Maybe, like, getting a random three-cost minion and give a divine shield. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, Marooned Archmage over in uh, Mage as well. The first uh, spell uh, each turn costs two less is getting buffed as well. DJ Mana Storm finally getting a buff, it looks like. And then uh, Sasiji, like, however you pronounce... <laughs> However you pronounce the name, uh, is getting a buff in Demon Hunter. Uh, so yeah, that's all the standard buffs. I can't remember what this card is over here uh, in between Boom Wrench and Rayla. Let me know down in the comments if you uh, figure out uh, what card it is because I've been looking through the card library for like the past 10 minutes trying to see. <laughs> but yeah, nothing there. Anyways, uh, there's three wild nerfs. Sorcerer's Apprentice getting nerfed again. That is wild. Uh, probably because of the uh, Exodia Mage uh, that is possible with the uh, the uh, buy one get one freeze or some something of that nature. Uh, Noel the the Noel is getting uh, a nerf in Rogue as well as a uh, fucking what's uh, the card called? When it was Secret Passage. Skullamance was when uh, Secret Passage came out. Okay, so it came out and uh, fractured in Alterac Valley. So uh, I thought I. Th I swear I thought it came out like uh, before Fractured in Alterac Valley, the the Wild Paw No. Uh, I thought that came out in fucking uh, Skullamancer, like uh, United and Stormwind or something, but evidently not. It came out like uh, right as uh, when I was uh, facing out of Hearthstone uh, the first time and everything. But anyways, yeah, those are the nerfs in uh, Wild, the Sorcerer's Apprentice. Uh, I don't know what changes they're going to make to that. To be fair, I haven't uh, stayed up to date with anything in uh, wild. All I know is that uh, it is super aggressive in there, so maybe they should take a look at the aggressive cards instead of uh, you know the uh, these cards. I guess I don't know, but hey, what what do I know? <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, those are the uh, wild nerfs. And then we've got a bunch of changes for Battlegrounds. So uh, let's go over the nerfs real quick. And there's also a couple additions uh, too. So it looks like Snail Calv Cavalry is getting nerfed to uh, probably maybe back to like a game plus one health or something. Uh, the Ancestral Automaton is getting nerfed. Maybe, uh, maybe it's like a plus one, plus two, or a plus two, plus two, whenever, uh, for each other Automaton you've summoned this game, wherever it is. I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. And then Zesty Shaker is getting nerfed. Um... I don't know what uh what what kind of uh, spells uh, that have been being played on it that'll uh, get it to where it, it's getting nerfed. I don't know. Uh, but anyways, uh, for the heroes, Guff is getting buffed. Uh, Light Fang Enforcer is getting buffed, which I think is crazy in my opinion because uh, whenever I've seen uh, people get the Light Fang portrait, they have usually popped off for the rest of the game. Uh, which I haven't seen much uh, Light Fang uh, pop off, you know. The Crow's Nest Sentry is getting uh, buffed. Uh, maybe it gets taken out of uh, Tier 3, moved down to Tier 2 maybe. I don't, I'm not entirely sure, to be honest. Then it looks like Ice Fisher, the Tier 6 uh, pirate, is getting a buff. Um, if I'm be honest, yeah, this maybe need to needs to be... Took in down to five, tier 5 in order for uh, pirates to be good. Yeah, pirates are pretty... Eh. I've had some, like, uh, good uh, things come from it. But I, I had, like, one game where I played second. But I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't think pirates are that good, to be completely honest. Then we have uh, Cruise Controlman uh, down here. Uh, the tier 5 minion death rattle uh, for the rest of the combat. After you summon a pirate, give it plus 4 attack. Um, yeah, I, I I think like uh, for the rest of this combat, like all your pirates get gain plus 4 attack or something. Kind of like uh, Goldrin uh, for beasts. Uh, but I, 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 don't, I don't know. Uh, that's just my opinion. Thundering Abomination is going to get a buff over here. Uh, yeah, uh, Thundering Abomination is all right for uh, the early game, but like, uh, af af there, there, it's not going to be sticking around for long, if I'm being completely honest. But I, I like Thundering Abomination. It, sometimes it does help with the uh, undead, but it doesn't help for a lot. Uh, for a, a good while, but yeah, I, I agree. It should be buffed uh, to some extent. I wonder what they're going to do for the buffs there. Over to Elementals, it looks like they're buffing the Bountiful Bedrock, which I love Bountiful Bedrock, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, I wonder what they're going to do for Bountiful Bedrock. Probably make it like a 5-4. Uh, I don't know exactly, but honestly, I love playing Bountiful Bedrock uh, when I'm playing Elementals. Uh, I, I don't know what they're going to do with it. I'm excited to see there. Then it looks like there's some dragon buffs as well. Um, so if you, if, uh, if I go over here, it is the wannabe gargoyle, uh, that is going to be buffed. Uh, the four, four tier four dragon, uh, that is, uh, re reborn with full attack. Uh, I don't, I, I've never played with this, if I'm being completely honest. I've never seen, I, I guess, like, uh, it's reborn with uh, whatever stats it has, uh, whenever it died or something. I don't know exactly, because I, so I don't know what, how that, like, works. Um, and then also, there's the Hunter of Gatherers, uh, getting buffed down here, uh, I don't, I don't know what they're going to do for the uh, for the buff there. Maybe plus one, plus one. That would be really cool for dragons, if I'm being completely honest. Because in most of my dragon comps, like Hunter of Gatherers has been in a, a good amount of them. Um, but yeah, I, I really like Hunter of Gatherers. I, I'm, I'm excited to see what they put in for the uh, buff to that card. And then it looks like uh, for the last one, there is the uh, tavern spell, the eater of uh, uh, the devourer or something like that. Um, okay, it's the uh, tier six uh, t 
tavern spell, uh, Channel the Devourer, the one that removes a friendly minion uh, and gives its stats to a friend, random friendly minion. Uh, I don't know what they're going to do for this one either. Uh, maybe... I, I don't know. Maybe they bump it down a tier for like tier five or something. I, again, I don't. I don't know what they're gonna do for all these nerfs. They're pretty vague in this uh, in these Twitter posts, which is why I don't really like the Twitter posts. If I'm being honest, but hey, w- whenever the balance patch comes out on Thursday, I'll let you guys know what the full uh, details are for that. And then there's also a couple of additions getting back added into battlegrounds. There's the uh, one one dragon uh, that I'm I'm assuming is gonna be tier one uh, for the tier that's in. Uh, it's the one that uh, adds the uh, dragon to your hand after like what is it three turns I think. Uh, yeah, sure. And then the uh, three three naga that like uh, start of combat doubles its stats. But yeah, those are the uh, changes that are going to be coming to uh, Hearthstone in the next, uh, this week, in the next two days. So uh, be on the lookout. Be sure to like, subscribe, so that way you don't miss my uh, full uh, patch breakdown of uh, not only Standard and Wild, but also for uh, Battlegrounds, because I'm, I've started to get into Battlegrounds a little bit. Uh, so... I've been uh, developing a good taste for the Battlegrounds meta, so maybe I'll start covering Battlegrounds stuff, uh, maybe uploading some Battlegrounds uh, content on the channel. Let me know what your thoughts are on that. But anyways, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you all in the next video. Take it easy.